Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And first of all, thank you so much. We had a really, really great res response to our last videos and a couple of questions we were able to answer. And even people, they said to us, hey, we made it and it works great. So what are we doing today? Today we are doing our homemade toothpaste. And we have all the ingredients here and we will them um, write down in the video so you can read it. So the ingredients, I'm just want to tell you right now, we have four tablespoons of coconut oil and we put it in a bowl just like this. So it's four tablespoon or if you're measuring in grams, it's um, 60 grams. Then we have 30 grams of baking soda, of course, without aluminium. Put them together in the bowl. Two tablespoons, which is 30 grams. Then we have two teaspoons erythritol. Erythritol is um, a sugar substitute. And as I said, we have 50 gram, two teaspoons. And then we have some tea tree oil and in total we have 10 drops and the tea tree tea tree oil <laughs> is antibacterial so we just put them in as well and last but not least we have 24 drops of mints so these are all essential oils you can also take lavender or pure peppermint or you can even put some toothpaste with cucumber, um, not with cucumber, <laughs> with turmeric. How am I coming to cucumber? Turmeric. We didn't try it out yet. Um, it's saying that the turmeric is whitening your teeth. Um, we have to try it out first because normally turmeric is staining everything. I don't want to try before I try it out and put it on our uh, product line and then you're running around with yellow teeth. No, we don't want to do that. So what we are doing now, we are putting all the ingredients together. You have more option. You can use a wooden spoon like I'm doing right now. And yesterday when I made our own try, I used this one <laughs> to make my life a little bit easier. Um, it works. Because uh, erythritol is the sugar sub, uh, substitute, it's a little bit, it's not a powder. So it has to be really coming down to kind of a powder. Otherwise you have all these things between your teeth and you don't want this. And I think this works good. Normally you make your cappuccino for the cream and it, it smells already like tooth cream, uh, toothpaste. So. I think that's it. It looks a little bit um, liquid and I have to say if it's hot like it is at the moment you want to keep it in your uh, house where the air condition is running. If you want to keep it in your car for any reason it will be liquid. But to fix it just put it for a couple minutes, I would say 10 minutes or so in your fridge and it will be ready to use. So now we have the option to fill your toothpaste. It's both of them are 50 milligram um, in container like this. And you just open it, you fill it up. I'll show you in a minute how. Or you can put it in a, a little jar. And if you want to go ahead and take your toothbrush and just put it in the jar and then brush your teeth. Um, I don't like it. I like the old fashioned way. So I want to show you what I did. And again, from the time I made my candles, <laughs> I have this fancy thing here, chuck, chuck, and it fits exactly in here. So what I'm doing now is just get some of the toothpaste in this thing. As I said, it's normally used for, I think you can even use it in the kitchen for your dough. Um, then I put it in here and open it and whoops, it's filling up. It's not full because I want to show you the other option you have with a smaller hole. So 
this is very, very helpful. Uh, let me see. A smaller hole, we have two options as well. We can take this. You get this in the baking um, aisle in your supermarket. I don't want to call a name, but this. Or you take, a, how do you call this? Fingers? You know what it is? Whip without a needle. And you just pull it up. So. And this should be fit in the little opening from this one here. Let me see. Yes. So you have two options. I, I think the other option is better with this piece here. You can fill it, up, fill it up really, really fast. But the option is here to take this thing or the thing from the bakery um, supplies. What we did yesterday, we already made it. And of course, we tried it. And I want to show you how it's coming out. It's coming out, as you see, like a normal toothpaste, but healthy, tasteful, and without any ingredients you don't want to, any ingredients you don't want to have in your toothpaste. I don't know if you ever read the backside from your toothpaste when you buy them in the shop. Ah, uh -uh, no, this is homemade toothpaste, natural, without any chemicals. And as I said, the only thing is we, with the airy three, <laughs> airy three toll, which is, as I said, um, sugar substitute. And may you know, there's also another sugar substitute. It's called xylitol. But I will, I did not take xylitol because xylitol has laxative properties and can result in diarrhea. So you don't want to brush your teeth maybe three times per day and then you have diarrhea and you don't know why. That's why I take the other um, substitute, which is erythritol. And this has no laxative properties. All right. So maybe we want to fill this complete up. If we have a moment, then it's complete done. And you see with these ingredients, with the measurements, you can fill up. See, and it's warm. It's really getting warm and it looks like liquid at the moment. But with these measurements I gave you, you can fill up two tubes with 50 ml or 50, yeah, 50 grams. And then you have two of this. Check. So, and we close it up. And as I said, right now it's liquid because it's really, really hot in here and outside. And we had to switch off the AC because of the noise. Um, you can buy all the um, tubes, the different size of tubes at Amazon. And even this, on Amazon if you don't want to um, use your own muscles and you get the different sizes at Amazon you get this on Amazon so anything I'm using any tool if you want more information let me know and I can share with you where I get all my tools from I think so I, I don't get any cent because I say Amazon but that's the way where I got the items from um, as I said if you like toothpaste like this homemade in minutes, um, healthy and yeah, delicious. I was using it this morning and Ken was already using it this morning. And he said, wow, that's the taste. It's like a normal toothpaste, but healthy. And I said, yep, we did it again. So we have our Deo homemade. Now we have the toothpaste homemade. Um, here's a Deo. A couple of weeks ago, we made a video about um, how you make your Deodorant, I say Deo because in Germany it's just say Deo, Deodorant. Um, we are thinking about maybe shampoo. There are so many things you can do on your own, healthier than the stuff you can buy in the shop. And you know what? We are in the beginning of building a second greenhouse because our one here is full and we will build one in the front. So even if you want to visit our shop, I can give you a tour in the greenhouse or may you interested to see how we are planting the seeds or how we are working in the greenhouse. All right. So please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and don't miss every Saturday. We have a new video for you with DIY, how you help yourself getting healthier and don't buy the <clears throat> stuff from the store. I don't think I have to say it, but I will. Mm -hmm. 
I am your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor and I will not and I cannot give you any medical advice. Um, there is really no medical advice here with the toothpaste, but for my own liability, I just want to let you know. All right. I think that's it for now. Happy toothbrushing. If you want to know, know more or anything, let me know, write or shoot us a message. We are more than happy to answer all your questions or give you the exactly amount of ingredients. And yeah, you know, under the video, there is comments and just type it up and we will help you. We will answer your question again. Happy toothpasting. That's it for today. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Love and light. Your Ute from Ute Server Rich Corner. Yay!